Not everybody has the ability to focus on the game for 10 hours a day, but throwing it up on a second monitor and AFKing while you get some work done is a great way to make some passive GP or gain some XP. And with that in mind, welcome to AFKing 9 to 5. Fellas. Welcome to another episode of my AFKing series. Today we'll be making some good money. Like actual good money. Are you burnt out of killing Vorkath every night? Just trying to make enough for that twisted bow? Or have you just got that bow and need to rebuild your bank? Well look no further because today's episode is just for you. Today we'll be venturing into the catacombs of Karen to kill some brutal black dragons. Killing these fellas requires level 77 slayer at least level 37 prayer, and a pretty high range level. Getting there for the first time, you'll have to enter the catacombs through the statue, but on your way out for the first time, you can climb up this rope to unlock a hole that you can later climb down in Lovakench. For today's gear, I'll be using a classic Tebow rebuild setup, but if you don't have this exact gear, don't worry. You can still work with a budget setup, and I've got some estimations for how much you should make. On the low end, you're looking at a strong 860k per hour, and at the high end, a whopping 1.5 million GP per hour. These numbers are before calculating in supplies, but don't worry, those are not that expensive. My gear will be sitting somewhere in the middle, so I'm expecting to make about 1 to 1.1 mil every hour today. I'll be completely honest, I tried one trip last night so I could figure out what supplies I should bring, and my inventory setup ended up being one Divine Ranging Potion, one Prayer Pot, two Food in case I got two AFK and the Dragon starts mealing me, and one Extended Super Anti-Fire Potion. I have to use a Super here because I won't be able to wear an Anti-Fire Shield, but if you're using a Dragon Hunter Crossbow, you can get along just fine with a regular extended anti-fire. The timing of the trip also worked out perfectly for me to only bring one prayer potion, and honestly, in my test trip, I didn't even use a single sip. This is mainly because I didn't use any offensive range prayers like rigor or augury, and this made my kills slightly slower, but more AFK. And with this forbidden knowledge, you might still be wondering how I could camp protect from mage for a full trip without any prayer pots, and well, the solution is the bone crusher. This might not be for everybody because dragon bones are 2k per kill, so I technically burned 2000 coins every kill, but I gained 4 prayer points. This made my trips longer and let me gather more regular loot. So I guess all that's left is to get to it. I'll see you guys in 8 hours. <laughs> done, so let me bank one last time and break down how my day went. First, let's start with the experience. This one probably won't matter much to you since we're here to make GP, but for 8 hours of killing these dragons, I got 192,000 HP XP, 576k range XP, and almost 30,000 prayer experience. Not a bad day of making money. Loot wise, we did really well. I picked up every single drop, and in the day I killed 409 of these dragons. That's about 51 per hour. My total loot was 8.4 mil, and my average loot without bones was 20.6k per dragon, which is almost exactly to what the math tells us it should be. Another great thing about killing these dragons is that they do drop totem pieces at a rate of 1 in 185. So our loot was on expected value, and we were on drop rate for these pieces, getting two today. I do think it might be fun in the future to try out some totem farming methods since we now have the Venator bow. 
So there might be a few more monsters that seem a little bit more viable to farm now. If that's something you'd want to see in a future episode, be sure to let me know in the comments. And while we're still talking about loot, I got incredibly lucky. I actually got the visage during my day here. This drops at a rate of 1 in 10,000, so you should only expect to get one every 24.4 days, so do not count on that extra 2 mil for your price check. And to be completely honest, I am technically dry for one of these, since I've killed 8,000-ish mithril dragons, and at least 5,000 more across rune and adamant, so I'm happy to get that one crossed off the collection log. So for me personally, my final loot came out to 10.8 mil for the day, but I'll be using my earlier number of 8.4. When we talk about money making, we also need to talk about the supplies, because they do cut into that profit at the end of the day. During my 8 hours here, I used 1500 amethyst arrows, so that is minus 316k. Potion wise, I definitely used more dosages of divine ranging than I did anti-fires, but to make this super easy, let's just say that I used 20 of each. So minus 82k for the range pots, and minus 143k of the anti-fires. And finally, the food. Every trip I brought two sharks, and honestly, I only ate them because I needed inventory space. I think there was only one or two times where I had to eat them because the dragon was mealing me. But since I did eat them for space every trip, across 51 trips, I used 102 sharks, and that is minus another 52k. My teleports here were free since I'm a sweaty nerd with 99 construction, so our final profit comes out to 7.8 million total, or 975k per hour, which is very, very good. My AFK time here was also pretty good, and I actually got a fair bit of work done today. My AFK times were about a minute and 15 seconds, with my active time being just me looting and then moving if the dragon was within melee range. So this was maybe 5 seconds every minute or so. And on top of that, of course I had to bank and resupply, so let me just show you on the screen an example of how long that would take. Surely by the time I'm done saying this, I've probably already done it and have returned to the Brutal Black Dragons. And that should be everything you need to know about Brutal Black Dragons. Thank you to my YouTube channel members, Snacks, Jujo, and iTalk. I also want to thank you guys for showing so much love on the previous upload, since it was something completely new, but I'm really glad you guys enjoyed it, because I want to make more videos like that in the future. Overall, this is a winner. This is by far the best moneymaker I've done in this series. There is a small chance that you die here, and to be honest, I only died once today, and I'm very happy about that. Another benefit to using budget gear when you do stuff like this is that reclaiming your gear from the gravestone is only like 18k, and not the 330k it was at Sarachnus. If you want to see that episode, you should see it on screen now, but I've got nothing left to say, so I'll see you in the next one.